Social Security system for over 11 years and now I, I want to know whether or not I'm going to be eligible to receive disability benefits. Well here's the first thing that you need to understand. When Social Security is trying to make a determination of whether or not they think you're disabled, based on what you paid into the system there are two things they're going to look at. First they're going to look at have you acquired what we call quarters of coverage, which basically means have you worked five out of the last ten years. By doing so, that then gets you to the second part, that if you have disability insurance coverage, then the question goes to, did your disability begin prior to the expiration of your disability insurance coverage? Now, here's where I, most people kind of lose track, and I've talked about this before. When Social Security is trying to decide whether you're disabled, they calculate what they call a date last insured. That's based on where you paid into the Social Security system and they're trying to determine at what point does your coverage for disability benefits ends. Sometimes it's well beyond the period of time when you stopped working. For instance, let's say you stopped working in 2009, but you've been working 10 years to 12 years prior. More than likely, your insurance coverage is going to be about four to five years out extended beyond that, which means you may have stopped working in 2009, but your disability insurance coverage expires in 2014. What does that mean for you? Well, that just means that if you can demonstrate that you became disabled before your coverage ends in 2014, you can get benefits based on your earnings. So that's the first thing. The second thing is proving that you became disabled within that period of time. Now, I can tell you, usually if it's, um, it's the scenario I just provided, as long as, you know, we're in 2012 now, as long as you can show uh, your disability began within that time period, it's usually not a bad, a bad issue. Where it usually becomes a problem if you've been out of work for a period of time and then something happens and you try to get disability benefits. Let's give a good example. Let's say that you stopped working in 2005 because you decided to move back in with your mom because she was sick and you were going to take care of her. No big deal. So you're going about your merry way. You had a couple of dollars set off to the side. Um, maybe you retired from the military so you were drawing money from the, the military so you're not really worried about it. Your mom passes away in 2011 and you decide to go back into the workforce. So boom, you get into a major auto accident right around, let's say, January 1 of 2011. So you apply for Social Security because you're like, well, I worked all those years, I want to get my money back. So then the question becomes, can I get it based on what I paid into the system? Well, let's assume since you stopped working in 05, your insurance coverage expires December 31st, 2010. Your accident was January 1, 2011. Under that scenario, would you be eligible to receive any of your benefits? No, because your coverage ends in 2010. Your disability didn't begin until 2011. The important thing that you need to understand is that if you're not sure what your quarters of coverage is, just contact Social Security. They will tell you. Uh, from a technical standpoint, they can tell you what your insurance coverage period is, but from a disability standpoint, it's your responsibility for proving that your disability results in, in a situation where you became disabled prior to your disability insurance coverage expires. Hope that question helps you out. As always, keep the free claim evaluation coming if you have some assistance.